Everything you touch is going to turn to gold. You are entering into a season where everything that you place your hand upon, everything that you put your thought to, everything that you put your might to, everything that you touch is going to turn to gold. You've probably had many times where it seemed like everything that you do, that, that you were doing or attempting to do just failed. Or no matter what you tried to do to succeed and just when you thought that you was moving a step forward, you found yourself being not 10 steps back. And it was only because it was not your time. It was only because you still needed to grow. It was only because you needed you still needed to develop. It was only because there was still some things that had to change about you. It was only because there were some people, somebody better listen, somebody better hear me, because it was some people that you were attached to that you had to let go of. Those people had to be removed from your life. You had to move forward with your life. And in order to move forward with your life, it meant, it meant letting go of people that you loved, family members, friends, whatever it is, colleagues, coworkers, whatever it is, that dead weight had to go. There was no way, no way that the father was going to bless you seeing the type of person that you was, seeing the type of heart that you had, seeing the type of relationships that you were involved in. I'm speaking about a friendship and companionship too. Could have been a companionship, but the relationships that you had, the people that you found yourself attached to. See, you thought it was no problem. You thought it was no biggie. You thought it was not a big deal that you can hang around these people from time to time and everything will be okay because you only seen Tim Tim once in a blue moon, right? You only seen Kim on the weekends when it was time to party. So it's no big deal that you attach to these people. It's not like they're a constant part of your life. But for the father, every relationship is a big deal to him. Every relationship, every single relationship is a big deal to him because guess what? When he blesses you, those blessings just don't stay with you. Those blessings trickle down to those people that are attached to you. So when you have that, these certain type of people attached to you and, and not saying that um, they're horrible people and they got to get out your life, but maybe they haven't changed. Maybe they haven't grown. Maybe they haven't developed. And maybe that's why the father doesn't want these people attached to you because they're not ready. They're not ready to go where you're going. They're not ready to achieve the level of success that you are about to achieve. They are not ready to be in a position that the father is going to put you in. And he knows that if he's putting you in a position, that means that he's putting them in a position because guess what? Where you go, they go because they attach to you. And the father said, no, 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 no. It's not so I'm not going to bless you. Until you let those people go. Let those relationships go. I'm not going to bless you until you get obedient to me. I'm not going to bless you until you learn how to pray. I'm not going to bless you until you learn how to stop gossiping. I'm not going to bless you until you learn how to get out of those situations that keep dragging you down. He said, until you get yourself together. Until you find yourself, until you have that time to spend with me where you're fasting and you're praying, right? You're sacrificing your own life to pick up the life that the father has for you, whatever that looks like. Only the father knows and that's between you and him what that looks like. But you're putting the worldly ways behind you in order to pick up his righteous kingdom, and, and in this hour, those are the people that the father is seeking. These are the ones that he is raising up. And guess what? While everyone else is, right, dreaming, he's busy preparing you for something bigger. He's busy preparing you for something greater. So don't worry about that you ain't make it to the, to the, to the club while everybody else and all your friends was at the club and they was partying. 
Because guess what? He had you at home in solitude. He had you at home in confinement. He had you at home in prayer. He had, he had you at home in submission to him and to his will and his word. He had you in his secret place, preparing you for something way greater than the club. Preparing you for something way greater than hanging on the block. Preparing you for something way greater than just hanging out with your homeboys and your homegirls. He was preparing you for something that you did not even know that you possess with inside of yourself. Preparing you for something that, yes, you dream big, but you didn't even dream this big. You are entering into a season where the father is giving you the authority, giving you the ability to be able to touch, <laughs> right? To be able to touch and whatever you shall touch, it shall turn to gold. If you apply for three jobs, maybe four jobs, hoping that just maybe one would call you back because you're so desperate and so much is going on and you're living with grandma or grandpa or mommy or daddy. You got to get out their house or you're living with a friend because you've been homeless for the past five months and you're just trying to get yourself together. And if anybody would be gracious enough to hire you, you would, you would take anything, anything, anything. It doesn't matter if you had to sweep a floor. It doesn't matter if you had to clean a wall. It doesn't matter if you had to ring up some food. It doesn't matter what it is. If you had to sweep some streets, the position didn't matter. You was just willing to take anything that would come your way. And so you decided that you was going to apply for maybe three or four jobs. Just hoping and praying that just one of those jobs would call you back. And when you turn around, <laughs> when you turn around, how about all four of those jobs was calling you back? Why? Because you put your hand to it. And what you touch shall turn to gold. You went to the bank, hoping and praying that they will approve you for a mortgage because you're tired of renting. You just want to be able to own something. You want to be able to pay into something that is going to give you some type, some type of, some sort of substantial value. Something that you're not just wasting your money away to, a, wasting your money away to and never getting it back. You wanted to invest in something that one day had the potential of becoming your own. So you go to the bank and you're hoping and praying that you Get approved for this loan. After all, you have your doubts because you've been turned down a few times already. You've applied and they kept denying you, telling you your credit score wasn't good enough. You didn't make enough or you needed a cosign or whatever the story was. But on this one particular day, you go to the bank and you apply for this loan and they call you back and say, loan approved. What you touched will turn to gold. What you touch will turn to gold. Your house searching. You've been looking for so long, trying to find some type of stability, something comfortable, something out the hood, something not in a ghetto, something where you ain't gonna walk outside your door and get shot because you've been down that road already and you got kids that's looking at their surrounding environment and you want better for your kids. You want a better life for your kids. You want a better environment for your kids. You want better opportunities for your kids. And so you took the initiative to get out of the hood. So you're applying to houses that is in these prominent areas, these more upscale areas, these areas that normally would tell you no, that would shut the door on your application just by the sight of you. They meet with you and they say, we've decided to go with another family. But by faith, you decide, I want better for my life. It's not just about me. I got kids. I want better for my kids. I want better for my kids. I want more for my kids. And so you're applying to these prominent areas and you got your doubts because you don't make nearly enough. Your credit score isn't perfect. You're still struggling a little bit, but at the same time, you know that you want better for your life, even in the midst of your struggle. So you apply for this house, not knowing which way it's going to go, but guess what? <laughs> 
Guess what? You've entered into your season and what you touch shall be turned to gold. So how that landlord for that house call you back and tell you they decided to go with you? They decided to rent to you. They picked you. They selected you out of every candidate that they had. And not because of your qualifications, not because of what you wrote down on that piece of paper, but because of the spirit that is in you. And they identified with the spirit that was in you. They seen the spirit that was in you. They seen the way it was moving in you. They seen the way it was flowing in you. They seen that it was something different about your character. It was something different about you. Something extraordinary about you. Something that they couldn't even put their hands on. You have entered into the season where what you touch shall be turned to gold. <laughs> That's the word, y'all. That's the word. And, and the father just gave me this word so strong, so strong since this morning. I woke up with this word on my heart, on my mind. And I was like, I got to get on. I got to get on. I got to get to life with purpose. I got I to gotta, I gotta give this word. I got to feed my sheep. And I was sitting here, I just finished coming out of prayer. I got to pick my daughter up. I'm almost late <laughs> giving this word, but it's okay because he's going to hold things up, right? It's about the rain out here in these streets. But I wanted to give that word. What you touched will be turned to gold. <laughs>